Shri Ramesh Chanitala to the podium. Shri Ramesh Chanitala started his political journey as a student leader and is currently leader of the opposition in the Kerala Legislative Assembly. I request Sri Ramesh Chanitala to address the gathering. Honorable President of India, Pranav Kumar Mukherjee, Honorable Governor of Kerala, C. C. Sadashivam, Respected Chief Minister C. Pinrai Vijayan, Former Chief Minister C. Manjandi, Acting Chief Justice C. Thotadil Adagustan, Professor K. V. Thomas MP, C. Venu Rajamani, <coughs> Dignitaries, on the days and off the days, friends. Today, we are here to remember a legal luminary who left the Indian mark in the legal realm of Kerala. See, K.S. Rajamani, who was given great contribution to the field of law and mentored large number of lawyers during his career. As a lawyer, he was always believed that society is guilty if anyone suffers injustice. According to him, legal practicing is not a lucrative profession to earn money, but it is an ethical mission to shed the light of justice to the lives of millions who are sidelined and vulnerable and marginalized. Of course, he was a unique phenomenon who demonstrated great courage values, ethics, and his entire legal profession. Making money by winning a case was not his professional motto. He thinks a lawyer should not be confined to the four walls of the courts. Rather, he believed that a lawyer has to play a much greater role in the society and to shape the society for the people of the, uh, people of the country country. He has etched his footprints as a member of editorial board of Kerala Law Reporter and a member of editorial committee of Kerala Law Times and served as the legal advisor, standing counsel for various, various central and state governments, undertakings, banks, corporations, etc., etc. He always believed that when you are worked with a selfless devotion to the common man, the common man will think that lawyer as his God. That is the real service one lawyer can deliver to the society. This is a message Sri K.S. Rajamani has left for the generations to come. I express my deep gratitude to Mr. Venu Rajamani, who invited me for this August function, which gave me an opportunity to say a few words. Thank you very much. I now invite Sri Totatil B. Radhakrishnan, who started practicing as an advocate in 1983 and was appointed as judge of the Kerala High Court in 2004. He is currently the acting chief justice of the Kerala High Court. Sir. Honorable President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Honorable Governor of Kerala, Sri Justice P. Sadashivam, Honorable Chief Minister of Kerala, Sri Pinarai Vijayan, Professor P.J. Kurian, Deputy Chairman, Rajya Sabha, Sri Ramesh Chenitala, Leader of the Opposition, Professor K.V. Thomas, Member of Parliament, Sri Uman Chandi, former Chief Minister of Kerala, late Sri K.S. Rajamnisa's family, on the dais and off the dais, other distinguished, revered elders, brothers and sisters. Practice of eternal human values is needed to attain excellence in the management of human race, flora, fauna, and everything that belongs to our great nation. Well-disciplined, prompt, and efficient people who perform with pleasing manners and conduct are needed. Late case, Rajamani sir abundantly reflected these fundamental qualities. The justice delivery system is making all out efforts to tide over the piling backlog and also to ensure that qualitative justice is delivered even at the doorsteps of every citizen by ensuring that access to justice is not denied on account of socio-economic or other challenges. Whatever we have now in the form of statute law in that regard were eminently reflected in the qualitative contribution of late Rajamani sir through his effective involvement in crafting 
the Lok Adalat movement and in providing free legal aid services to the poor. When I joined the Kerala High Court Bar as a junior, the towering personality of late, K late Rajamani sir, with his qualitative legal thinking and court craft influenced me. It is said that one minute of anger weakens your immune system for four to five hours, and one minute of laughing boosts, you, boosts your immune system for 24 hours. I never found Rajamani sir in any mood other than with the sweetness of a smile, which surpassed over other thoughts and expressed itself with gracious love for all around him. Don't educate your children to be rich. Educate them to be happy so that they know the values of things, not the price. The legacy left behind by Rajamani sir through his beloved children abundantly reflects that he surely practiced this and has ensured that his children continue to be beacons in the society. My most respectful pranams to late Rajamani sir, the erudite, multifaceted personality who tread this world with all positivity, with no hatred, and with abundant love for one and all. I look forward to the generation of lawyers, public men, academicians, and social activists to honor Rajamani sir by emulating him. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. I now invite Honorable Chief Minister, Shri Pinarayi Vijayan, who has been active in the Kerala political arena for more than five decades. He is presently the 12th Chief Minister of Kerala. Sir. Sahodari Sahodari Mare. Bahumaninaya Rastrabadi. E. and his Mirana Prabhashna Paramaril. K. S. Rajamani and his Mirana Prabhashna Paramaril. Pangadukil Atharamuru Vedil Pangadukan Kadigi in Jay Nadu, Rosando Shamula, Kayamana Asando Sham Adime the Ne, Rega Pudate Pavpatorka Saujinimai. Name us a high angle Jedu Wundu. Justice Vyar Kashnere Purula Rade Opum Kerala Tele Logadalat Pustanathene Vadi the Lichu Wundu Namada Samohate Kudel Nidishtamak and the Rivendi Arpana Boda Tode Protecha Victiana Sri Rajamani. My two lover Kudoga, another Sondan Jivitat in the Saf Hilium, in the Chindayode Samohatinde Ulkarshatin Vindi Tande Aribugulum, Kadibugulum, Adeham, Summer Piki and Chid Kerala Samstanum, Ruby Gurdamagan the Samia to the Ne Promoga Abibashaganai Adeham. Supreme Court Weekly Reporter and Chief Editor Adeham Seven and Narathirum Adodopandane Kerala Law Reporter and Editor Langam and the Nerakumula are there than day Sevenam, Smerania Maidan Tirvendurteum, Cochileum, Law College Gurri Visiting Faculty and the Real Pilkarate Nerevadi Abibashagreum, Nametnereum, Parishiri Picanum, are there than a Vasar and Debichiru Uru Abibashagan. Then the Ridi Rana KS Rajamani, Tane Kuruchi, Chindichitulam. Then I'll Irubadamu turned in day Nalpadu, Anbadu, Arabadu, the Shangri Adeham Kerala Tinde, Samu Higa, Rastriya, Samskariga, Megaregri Shadhe Maya, Sainidhya Maidu. 
ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് സാഹിത്യം പഠിച്ച രാജാമണി കലയിലും സംസ്കാരത്തിലും പുരോഗമനപരമായ കാഴ്ചപ്പാടാണ് ഉയർത്തിപ്പിടിച്ചത് അങ്ങനെ കലാ സാംസ്കാരിക രംഗങ്ങളിൽ വ്യാപരിച്ച അദ്ദേഹം ആ രംഗത്തും സ്വന്തം വ്യക്തിമുദ്ര പതിപ്പിച്ചു നമ്മുടെ സമൂഹത്തിന് രാജാമണി നൽകിയ സംഭാവനകളിൽ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ടത് കെ പി എ സിയുടെ രൂപീകരണത്തിൽ അദ്ദേഹം വഹിച്ച പങ്കാണ് കേരളത്തിൽ രാഷ്ട്രീയ പ്രബുദ്ധതയുടെ പ്രകാശം വിതറുന്നതിൽ ആ പ്രസ്ഥാനവും രാജാമണിയും വഹിച്ച പങ്ക് ചരിത്രത്തിൽ അടയാളപ്പെട്ട് കിടക്കുന്നു തൻ്റെ ആത്മകഥയിൽ അഡ്വക്കൽ ജനാർദ്ദനക്കുറുപ്പ് കെ പി എ സിയുടെ ആദ്യ നാടകം തിരുവനന്തപുരത്തെ വി ജെ ടി ഹാളിൽ പ്രദർശിപ്പിക്കുവാൻ നേതൃത്വം നൽകിയ രാജാമണിയെക്കുറിച്ച് പ്രതിപാദിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അതിനുണ്ടായ സാമ്പത്തിക ചെലവുകൾ പൂർണ്ണമായും വഹിച്ചത് രാജാമണിയായിരുന്നു പിൽക്കാലത്ത് കെ പി എ സി സുലോചന എന്നറിയപ്പെട്ട പ്രശസ്തയായ പാട്ടുകാരിയും അഭിനേത്രിയുമായിരുന്ന സുലോചനയെ കെ പി എ സിയിൽ കൊണ്ടുവന്നതും രാജാമണിയായിരുന്നു രാജാമണി നിരന്തരം സമൂഹത്തിൻ്റെ ഉന്നമനത്തിനു വേണ്ടി നിലക്കൊണ്ടു അതിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായി ജീവിതത്തിലുടനീളം ഇടതുപക്ഷ പുരോഗമന പ്രസ്ഥാനങ്ങളോട് ചേർന്ന് നിൽക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു നിയമകാര്യങ്ങളിലെ അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ കണിശതയും കൂർമ്മബുദ്ധിയും വിളിച്ചറിയിച്ച പ്രശസ്തമായ നിരവധി കേസുകളുണ്ട് വിജയകരമായി വാദിച്ച് ജയിച്ച ശ്രദ്ധേയമായ ആ കേസുകളിലൂടെ രാജാമണി കേരളത്തിലെ ഒന്നാം കിട അഭിഭാഷകരുടെ നിരയിലേക്ക് ഉയർന്നു അദ്ദേഹം മികച്ച പ്രാസംഗികനുമായിരുന്നു ഇത്തരത്തിൽ പ്രതിഭാശാലിയായ ശ്രീ രാജാമണിയുടെ സ്മരണ നിലനിർത്താനുതകുന്ന ഈ പ്രഭാഷണ പരമ്പരയിൽ ആദരണീയനായ നമ്മുടെ രാഷ്ട്രപതി സംസാരിക്കുന്നു എന്നത് അങ്ങേയറ്റം ഔചിത്യമുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് കെ എസ് ആർ ഫൗണ്ടേഷനിലൂടെ രാജാമണിയുടെ കുടുംബം അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ പാരമ്പര്യം മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്നുവെന്നത് അഭിനന്ദനാർഹമാണ് അവർക്ക് എല്ലാ ഭാവുകങ്ങളും നേരുന്നതോടൊപ്പം രാജാമണിയുടെ ആശയങ്ങൾക്കനുസൃതമായി പാവപ്പെട്ടവരുടെയും പാർശ്വവൽക്കരിക്കപ്പെട്ടവരുടെയും അധസ്ഥരുടെയും താൽപ്പര്യങ്ങൾ സംരക്ഷിക്കുന്ന പരിപാടികളുമായി മുന്നോട്ട് പോകാൻ കഴിയട്ടെയെന്ന് ആശംസിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു നന്ദി Thank you, sir, for those nice words about my father-in-law, Shri K. S. Rajamani. It did bring back nostalgic memories. The Honorable Governor of Kerala has been a former Chief Justice of India and has been our Governor for over two years. I feel honored to request the Honorable Governor of Kerala, Shri Justice P. Satashivam, to please address us. Shri Pranab Mukherjee, Honorable Rashtrapati Ji, Shri Pinarayi Vijayan, Honorable Chief Minister, Professor P.J. Kurian, Deputy Chairman Rajya Sabha, Justice Thotatil Radhakrishnan, Acting Chief Justice, Kerala High Court, Shri Ramesh Chanitala, Leader of Opposition, Professor K.B. Thomas, Member of Parliament, Shri Manchande, Former Chief Minister, Shri Venu Rajamani, Press Secretary to the Honorable President, Shri R. Balachandran, Organizer of this uh, meeting, other distinguished distinct dignities present here distinguished family members of mr rajamani ladies and gentlemen friends in media i'm very happy to address you all as we eagerly wait to hear our uh, honorable rashtrapati ji deliver the sixth ks uh, rajamani memorial lecture on india at 70 we are extremely fortunate have the honorable president of india to deliver this lecture which in the past had been given by eminent persons like justice v r krishnaiya justice k t thomas sri salman kurshid and others the eminence of these speakers also signifies the contributions of the late k s rajamani 
to various fields of activity. Though a lawyer by profession, the late case Rajamani's interests and activities touched upon several areas including academics, art, culture, and social work. He also held many positions by virtue of his integrity and eminence in the legal profession. His services also extended to a lead role in the Bar Scouts and Guides, the School for the Blind, and in the foundation of Kerala's Kerala People's Arts Club, the Flying Club, etc. I am happy that the legacy left behind him is being carried out, carried forward by his family through the K.S. Rajamani Foundation. As we all know, through seven decades of independence, India has established itself as an emerging power and as one of the fastest growing economies. We have just proved our strength in science and technology through the launching of a record 104 satellites in one go using our PSLB C-37. India rising to be the third largest military power, the sixth in the race for space, tenth industrial power cannot be seen as a small achievements. Besides in the employment sector, we are awaiting the positive effect of demographic dividend with the largest number of young people in the world. Undoubtedly, all this is due to the strength of our vibrant democracy. Yet there are many areas where India has miles to go, not only in sustaining the development it has achieved, but also in ensuring the maturity of its democratic tradition. The qualitative strength of our education, the effectiveness of our health care services, and the goals we have set for the coming years also may deserve to be reviewed. I hope our Honorable Rashtrapati Ji would be touching upon these aspects in his learned lecture on India at 70. With these words, I invite our Honorable President of India to deliver the sixth K.S. Rajamani Memorial Lecture. Thank you. Jai Hind. Good evening. The Honorable Governor, Justice E. Shadashivan, Distinguished Chief Minister, Sri Pinari Vijayan, Professor P. G. Kurian, Deputy Chairman Raj Sabha, Justice T. B. Radhakrishnan, Acting Chief Justice, Kerala High Court, Sri Ramesh Chanithala, Leader of the Opposition, Professor K. V. Thomas, Sri Omen Chandi, former Chief Minister, Sri Venu Rajamuni, 